Home School. Today we are going to discuss mathematics subject and it is NCRT syllabus chapter probability. So we are going to start this probability chapter with some tiny concepts. So here probability is classified. What is the probability first of all? Uh, we come across some questions when we talk about the probability. Some questions daily we face. What are those? Probably he may come to school tomorrow or probably it may rain. So where do we use this word probability? What does this mean? Probability is none other than it is a chance of happening or it is a possibility. So we can say this probability in many ways. We call it as chance of happening. The meaning of probability is none other than possibility, chance. It is a study of the occurrence of a random event. Probability is classified into two types that is theoretical probability and experimental probability. Theoretical probability is also called as classical probability. Experimental probability is also called as empirical or statistical probability. What are these two? What is the difference between these two? Experimental probability, we do the experiments and then what it is actually happened, we get the result. But whereas coming to the theoretical concept, no need of doing any, uh, any attempt. So what will happen without actually performing the experiment? That is none other than just guessing or assuming the experiment. So simply I will say with this a small example. That is tossing a coin. If we toss a coin, uh, I, we can guess it. But we cannot say exactly what we are going to get. I can guess it as head or tail. But no one can predict perfect answer. Means it is a guessing or assuming this. So this is none other than the theoretical probability. In this chapter we are going to deal about the theoretical probability. Probability we talk it as with the letter P. Probability of an event is uh, represented as P of E. What is this formula for probability of the event? Probability of an event P of E is none other than Number of outcomes favorable to the event E by total number of all possible outcomes of the experiment. So what is this? Favorable outcomes for the given event or the question or what we ask in the experiment. In the experiment we will be having all the possible outcomes. All the answers we call it as a sample spaces. These total number of all possible outcomes of the experiments we call this as a sample spaces. So in this one of the event or the question what we ask regarding the probability event will be represented in the numerator and the total sample space is represented in the denominator. Finally what is the probability of an event formula? P of E is equal to number of the events by number of the sample spaces. P of E is equal to N of E by N of S. Whereas in this numerator n of e is always less than or equal to the denominator. So probability range will be in between 0 to 1. That means it cannot be negative. Uh, probability can never be less than 0 and never be greater than 1. So we represent it as 0 less than or equal to probability of e less than or equal to 1. So one of the tiny multiple choice we can guess in this chapter is a uh, probability can never be dash. Probability can never be negative. And the range of probability is in between 0 and 1. This in 9th standard already we have studied some of the concepts of this probability. So just recollect the concepts and then we can start the actual concept of probability. So these concepts we are going to use in the present probability also. Okay, let's see here. What is an experiment? We have come across some keywords here. Experiment, trial, event, outcome, sample space. Uh, these are all we have come across. So let's discuss these are all. Experiment. It is an activity which produces some well-defined outcomes. What is the experiment we do in this probability? Uh, we do some random experiments such as tossing a coin or tossing a die or tossing two coins, tossing two dice, playing cards. Some of the experiments we do in this probability. So now, a trial. What do you mean by trial? Performing the experiment is called as a trial. Event. An event for an experiment is a part of the total outcome of the experiment. 
So in this experiment, event is represented by the letter capital E. So in a question, there may, might be many events they might be asking. So you can choose a uh, letter A, B, C or you can choose with the first question E1, second question E2, third E3, so on. So here, coming to the next concept, outcome. What is an outcome? It is a possible result of an experiment or a trial. So when we are doing the experiment, we do a trial. Trial of tossing a coin. So we are going to get the result. That result is none other than the outcome. Then coming to sample space. Sample space is represented by the letter S. It is a set of all possible outcomes or results of that experiment. So what is the sample space? When we do the experiment, when we are doing this trial, uh, we get uh, many outcomes. So what are all the possible outcomes? Those are called as a sample spaces. For example, when I toss a coin, what are all the sample spaces I can get here? Head or tail. Suppose when I throw a die, uh, I think you know, you all have seen the die. If you throw a die, your outcomes may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But not other than these numbers. So how many outcomes you are going to guess here? 6 outcomes. So that 6 outcomes we call it as a total sample spaces. So I'll give you one example of the event also here. What is the event here? In the same question, if you throw a die, what are all the possibilities or the probability of getting even number? My event question is probability of getting an even number. So when you throw a die, you'll be having here, uh, when you toss this experiment, uh, when you do this trial, you are going to get the event. What are all the sample spaces here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sample spaces is represented in the set form and it is represented as S is equal to. When you count this roll, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we write it as N of S is equal to 6. Number of sample spaces is equal to 6. So here in the sample spaces, 6 no. So what is the even question here? What is the probability of getting even numbers? So let's see here, what are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6. How many even numbers we have here? 3. So in this event, what we are going to write? Let it be E is equal to set of 2, 4, 6. And total number of events, N of E is equal to 3. So events 3, sample spaces 6. We can apply the formula here. Probability of getting that event is equal to 3 by 6. That will be 1 by 2 is your answer. This is a just explanation of what is experiment, trial, event, outcome, sample space. This is the method we use in all the problems of your probability. So here, coming to next topic. Uh, what is the simple event? A word itself, simple. Simple in the sense, single. It is also called as elementary event. If an event has only one outcome out of all the outcomes of the experiment, how can I say one outcome? Suppose if I toss a coin, I'm going to get two outcomes. What are those? Head and tail. Head and tail we call it in the sample space. Suppose I ask the question in event. What is the probability of getting head? Means I'm asking head. Means in the sample spaces, only head I'll choose. So if I choose this experiment, so what are all the outcomes I can get here? S is equal to head, comma, tail. So when my question, even question is head, probability of getting head. I have here only one head. So I will write N of E is equal to 1, N of S is equal to 2. At that time, if I write here, so what is the probability? Uh, probability of getting head 1 and total number of sample spaces will be 2. That is P of E is equal to 1 by 2. This is the way we apply in this probability. Single, single answer if you choose, that is called as a, a simple event or an elementary event. Next event, what is this compound event? Having multiple answers. So if an event has more than one outcome out of all the outcomes of the experiment, multiple answers, we have already seen that example, that is sample spaces is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 when you throw a die and my question here, uh, probability of getting even numbers at that time, I am not getting only 
one answer. Even, I may guess my die, in this die, suppose let's see the die. When you throw this, what are all the even numbers chance? 2, 4 and 6. So, 3 chances you have. That means having multiple answers. So, that is called as a compound event. Equally, next comes to the equally likely outcomes. Two or more outcomes are said to be equally likely outcomes if each outcome have the same chance of appearing as one another. For this, we can take an example. What is that? Head, tail. Tossing a coin, we can get head or tail. Means head have an equal chance and also tail have the equal chance. Both will be having the same chance that is called as a equally likely outcomes. Okay, these are all the, let's go with the brief summary of this topic and then next continue the next topic here. So once again, probability is none other than, probability is called as a chance of happening or a possibility and it is a study of the random event or the occurrence of a random event. Probability is classified into two types. That is theoretical probability, experimental probability. Experimental probability, when we do, we get the answer. But whereas theoretical probability, we can assume the answer. So in this chapter, we are going to use theoretical probability itself. The formula of probability of an event P of E is equal to N of E by N of S. Always, numerator is always less than or equal to the denominator. This is a very important formula here. Probability of an event P of E is equal to N of E by N n of s and the range of this probability in between 0 and 1. Probability can never be negative. When we perform an experiment, we get uh, well defined outcomes. So this experiment we do randomly. So it is called as a random experiment. So when we perform this experiment, that is none other than the trial and the result what we get when we perform the experiment, that is called as an outcome and what the question we ask in the experiment that is none other than the event. Uh, sample spaces, all the results what we get in performing the experiment is called as a sample spaces. Coming to simple event, when we get only one answer that is called as a simple event. When we get a multiple answers, we call it as a compound event and equally likely outcomes both or uh, two or three or any more uh, answers or the outcomes may have an equal chance that is called as an equally likely outcome. Still we have three or four concepts. Let's see those. To the introduction of probability, we have two more topics. Short or certain event. The event which always occur when the experiment is carried out. It means uh, that this event is possible. We may call it as a possible event, sure event, certain event. This event carries your answer is 1. Sure event, the event definitely it will occur. So we say the value it is 1. Whereas impossible event. Impossible in the name itself we can say here impossible. An event which does not occur at all when an experiment is Perform. So, how many times you perform that experiment, we are not going to get the result. So, if we are not getting this event, so we call it as a, uh, we represent this as 0. Possible event or a sure event with 1, impossible event is 0. Now, sum of all the probabilities, what are sum of all the probabilities? So, let's see here, uh, P of first event, P of E1, P of E2, P of E, T. How many probabilities you do? All the sum of these elementary events, sum will be 1. It does not be less than uh, less than or a negative. It cannot be more than 1. So, all the probabilities, sum will be 1. So, coming to last topic here in this probability is complement of an event. Complement word, we already have heard it. What does a complement? Suppose uh, when you throw a die, what are all the set you are going to get here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So I will ask you, what is the probability of getting even numbers? Even numbers you are going to say these three, right? So that is, I call it as 
P of E is equal to, what is the chance of happening this? 3 by 6. Then probability of not happening even numbers. Not happening in the sense or numbers. Not happening. How do you say here? Probability of not E is represented by P of E bar. We can guess here 1, 2, 3, 3 by 6. But without actually performing this, we are going to have a rule. What is that rule here? P of E is e plus P of E bar is equal to 1. Probability of an event plus probability of not an event is equal to 1. Let's see the answer here. What is probability of an event? 3 by 6. Plus probability of a not an event is equal to 1. When you are going to send this right side, this 3 by 6, it will be 1 minus 3 by 6. So if we are going to do LCM, 6 minus 3, that will be 3 by 6. This is the way we get the complement of our event. In other words, we are calling that, what is the complement other than that event, remaining all events in your sample spaces is called as a complement. One more example, I would like to say this complement. Uh, suppose I say here, uh, there is a chance of raining 30%. So, what is a not chance? Not chance, uh, event is probability of raining, P of E. Not having a chance of raining, P of E bar is how much? I am saying chance of raining 30. It will be none other than 70%. We can guess it. So, in the same manner, so here, one more here. Uh, if your probability of uh, uh, raining, it will be, I will say here, 0 0.05. What is probability of not raining is my question. So, at that time, you can say, you can use this P of E plus P of E bar is equal to 1. That is again, same method or we can directly say the answer or we can do this. P of E bar is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05. That is equal to 0 0.95 is your answer. With this, I am going to end your introduction class. The next class, we are going to start the exercise.